So welcome to another tutorial. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to cre create a modern BB forum and how to use it and set it up. So modern BB is a forum software as I just stated. Um, it's really lightweight and it's obviously designed to look modern. It's built on Bootstrap which is actually the reason why I decided to use it on my site because it's built on Bootstrap and my site is also built on Bootstrap. And the nice thing about it is the code is really clean so it's really easy to go in and modify the forum core. So Right, this is my main site which I built, and then here is my forum, and they fit in really nicely. I'm still doing some work on the style of this, but they fit in really nicely. So that's why I like it, it's really easy just to modify it. Unlike PHPBB or MyBB or IPBoard, it's it's really, the code is really small, it's not over overdone, so it's a really lightweight forum software which makes it really easy to edit. It doesn't have a million different features like the others do, but to me, that's better. So what you want to do to set it up is go over to modernbb.b and then go and download it from the homepage. Uh, they've got some screenshots here. Just download the latest version, which right now is 3.1, but it might change for you when you come to download it. So just open that up and there's all the files. So we just need to extract that now and extract. And then what we could do is open this up and open our FTP client. Here's my FTP client. So I'm just going to copy all of this over to there and just wait for that to copy. Shouldn't take too long because there's not too many files. Okay, so that's now transferred. It only took a, uh, about 20 seconds or so. So now we just minimize these and head over to the site. So neil-row.com forward slash forum is where I put it. And here, the, here's the setup screen. So the first thing we need to do is set up a database and a database user. So head over into your hosting control panel, might be cPanel or your host's own one. In my case it's cPanel, I'm using Phase Network, which is a hosting provider that I'm setting up along with Ben from Men's Tech Tips. And I'll be ready to release that to you guys shortly, uh, probably in a couple of weeks. But what you want to do is just head over into your MySQL databases manager and you'll want to create a forum. A, a, uh, a database, sorry. So I'm going to call mine uh, neuro underscore mbb, create database, and then head back. And then I'm, what we need to do is that's created that. So now what I'm going to do is neuro un is create a user. So neuro underscore, and I'm just going to put user for now, and password example. Um, by the way, when you're watching this, this user account and database will be deleted, so don't even try and hack it. So create user, and that's now created the user with password example. And I'm going to attach this user um, user into the MBB. So press add, and then give it all privileges if it asks you to do so, and then go back. Okay, so, na so now we've set up our database. So we can go database name, and this would be the one that we just created, so neuro underscore mbb. And the username is neuro underscore user, in my case. The password example. Table prefix. If you want to have multiple modern bb installations in your single database, you can add like a prefix to this. So I would usually do like, um, for my coders guide forum, I put cg underscore or something that will reference that. So that will allow you to have more than one in a database. But I'm just gonna leave that blank for now. Administrator username, this is just your user account on the forum. So I'm just gonna create this. And as well as an email address. And give your board a title, so I'm gonna call mine just Neil Rowe because it's on that site. And I'll leave it as express yourself as the description. Uh, the address it should be there already, but if it's not, just add it. Just make sure not to put the slash at the end, and you'll need to put HTTP or HTTPS at the beginning, so that's important. Language, English by default, and the style, these are the four styles that come with it at the moment. I'm going to use randomness, start install. Okay, so it's now just been installed, so we can go to the forum index, and there is our site, there's our board. So we're just going to do some quick stuff with this, so login, mine was Neil, and my password. And from here we can go into the backstage. And the first thing that we want to do is create some categories. So I'm going to put a category called general and add it. 
and inside of here I can add some sub forums so what I'm going to do is I'll call my first one oh, welcome add uh, as well as general info add um, and then suggestions add okay so these are my three forums and if I want to change the order of these so general info I want to have at top uh, suggestions I want to have second and then welcome I want to have third so you just update up those other uh, update those positions and then press update positions and then there's the new order you can have more than one category by the way like I do on my site but for now let's just head back into our site and there it is so there's our forums and from here I could post a new topic so hello world and then just paste some lorem ipsum yes I'm literally writing lorem ipsum into here submit and there is our post. So from the backstage, what we can do is, uh, we've done the content, we can do censoring. So if there's any words that you want to censor, then you could do that and suggest replacement words. And in reports, uh, this is when people report a post, it will appear here. So if they flag it, and then an administrator can check it. Users, here you can uh, create users you can search for the users or search by IP if you want to see all users you can just go into username hit enter and that will give you all users and then we can also set up things like ranks and groups so here we can create new groups and they'll inherit from uh, a previous group so I will create a moderator add then we can add a new title and give them all of their permissions and things like that but I'm not going to bother about that for now ranks so what ranks do is they display like a title underneath your name when you have a certain amount of posts. So at zero posts, you're a new member. At 10 posts, you're a member. We can have pro member at maybe 150 posts or something. And then you can just add as many as you want. So you can have like expert 300 or whatever. And this must be enabled in the features, by the way. So yeah, as well as enabling sensor words, you must tick this if you want to enable that. We can also manage general permissions like BB code allowing messages to be in all caps and allowing images in the in the uh, footer which isn't recommended but you can do that and we can also go into bands and manage who is banned but no one is banned at the moment obviously settings we can go into global and this is where we change all the general board settings you can read through here and there's a bunch of other things in there as well so that's it that's modern bb uh, it's a really nice forum software so yeah so download it have a play around with it it's really easy to integrate with your own site. If you want a tutorial on how to do that, then let me know. And I can do that, but I'm a bit busy at the moment. I'm going to be doing a PhoneGap mobile development series coming up soon, as well as a few other things. So, yeah. So that might be a while until that comes out. Be sure to uh, sign up on my forum, if you're not already. Uh, Yannick, who is actually the creator of Modern BB, is actually on the forum, as you can see right here. So you can feel free to ask him any questions here or in fact on his own forum on his site if you want to. So thank you for watching this tutorial, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.